Catherine's full of pick up that hey there is less oxygen here so we need to pick up our speed of breathing so our respiration rate will increase accordingly because remember there's less oxygen here so as we increase breathing we're going to get more oxygen per minute does that make sense so that's the number one compensation that we do in altitude <clears throat> so cattle have a whole lot of different things that why they are affected to altitude one is is if they come from miami and Mr. Bull comes up here, he does not compensate like that, okay? His brain does not pick up the fact that they have increased in altitude, so he's going to breathe at the same rate as he would as in Miami as he is here. So all of a sudden, his body has less oxygen than it should. Does that make sense? So keep that one in mind. That's number one. Number two is a big one to me. Number, this is kind of like brisket disease in a nutshell for me. 
So I've got a couple of different lungs. Can everybody see okay? I got a couple of different lungs here for all different species here, but here is the biggest thing I wanted to show you. Can you be my lung? <laughs> so right here, these are actual lungs, and I can tell you how I do this if you're interested. These are lungs out of a thousand pound horse. All right, this horse died of colic, so I take out its lungs and I treat them so I get a, a real lung. So this is actually the true tissue. And so in a thousand pound horse, that's your lung fill right there, okay? So now <coughs> we're gonna look at this bull. And... So what is this? What are these lungs out of? Horse. Thousand pound horse, right? So here are the lungs out of a uh, big Angus bull, and this bull weighed about 23, 2400 pounds, all right? So he is double the size of my horse, and he died of an intestinal impaction, and so this is the lungs out of an animal that's twice the size of this one. Does that make sense? So that, this is why we have altitude problems in cattle. To me, I mean, I sleep with these things, and I'm driving down the road, I just rub them, because <laughs> This right here, if you look at those, this is a visual you should not leave without remembering. Thousand pound horse, an animal double the size, has one third the lung capacity. supposed to be here to talk about respiratory disease, but I want to throw something out at you. Let's just say that we have a normal animal running around in altitude, and he's fine, he's been there for a couple, three years, and all of a sudden dies of risk of disease. Think of this concept, think of these small lungs, that. <clears throat> Let's just say that our calf, even at birth or somewhere before weaning, gets pneumonia. And so it gets sick and all of a sudden it gets pneumonia bad enough where the lungs, and we, we've all opened up calves and they have pneumonia. Let's just say we wiped out that part of our lung right there. So this is all the animal has left. So if we looked at a calf's lung, it would be like this. All of this area right here would be gone. What do you think would happen to that animal's PAP score and its potential of living in altitude? What do you think would happen? It would go up. So what we have done when, that, when an animal has respiratory disease, any kind of respiratory disease, it's virtually taking this lower part of the lung and eliminating it. Now all this is taking place is taking place clear up here. So an animal that's got pneumonia or respiratory disease or anything like that is extremely prone to high altitude disease. 